There's a new mural in downtown Columbiana. It's, well, colorful. So colorful, in fact, that social media the past couple of days has been rampant with rumors that the city of Columbiana wanted to ban murals. But as it turns out, city council is just thinking about regulating them. And council met tonight. Reporter Christina Mullen was there and knew at 10. She joins us live in the studio. Kimberly Starr owns Art and Soul in Maine in Columbiana. On the side of her building, she has a mural. And before the meeting today, she was nervous for what could happen to her artwork. This is the mural creating all the stir in Columbiana. It's on the side of Art and Soul on Main Street. Mayor Brian Blankman says it all started when someone made a Facebook post saying Columbiana wants to ban building murals. But he says that's not the case. I don't want to ban them. I do believe that we need, from a planning commission standpoint, to have some input on what's going where. Something of that size and, and that gravity normally is what cities become known for. As of now, there are no regulation on murals. Anybody can paint anything, and that's something the mayor would want to change. And I don't think that, personally, it should be individually left up to every single shop owner on Main Street to, to put something up that they want. Um, I think it should come in front of a planning commission. And then... Kimberly Starr owns the building the mural is on. Um, I was concerned. I was very concerned. I took it as, um, you know, the town was talking and maybe not so nice about it. It was a packed house for the meeting, but what everyone was there for, the ban of murals, shouldn't have been on the agenda. And is that, that was supposed to start it at the Planning Commission meeting and it skipped that and went straight to here without any of us requesting it. Blakeman emphasizes he just wants more regulation for future murals. I asked him if he wanted to get rid of any current murals. No, absolutely not. I mean, there's no way that that even could happen. It's her, her building and she's painted it and there's nothing that told her she couldn't. In a sense, I feel a lot more comforted knowing that, um, that this will continue to be a discussion, but it's not um, targeted at me personally. Blakeman tells me the mural regulation will now go to the planning committee, which will review it to decide if it will go to council, and the planning committee will not address that until the beginning of next year. Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News at 10.